Hey, welcome, it's KB here. So we have a new method to install Google Play Store on Windows 11 because the old method doesn't work. Actually, the GitHub repository for the old method, magiscon.wsa, is no longer accessible. Yay! But we have a, another repository, uh, which is same as the old one, magiscon.wsa, but it's local at the end. So basically, we won't be able to download the WSA with Google Play Store package uh, from the GitHub anymore. Now it works locally and we need to do some stuff. Uh, the good thing is that you no longer need any uh, GitHub account. You can follow the instructions given here uh, uh, to know how to use it. But don't worry, I'm here. I'll teach you uh, quickly. All right. So first thing we need a Ubuntu. Uh, you can use VM but if you are using Windows 11 because you want to in install the Google Play Store on Windows 11 WSA then uh, you can use a WSL all right sadly I haven't made any tutorial on WSL but it's easy peasy you can look up on YouTube Google whatever uh, it's basically a thing which lets you run uh, Linux inside Windows. I'm using the Windows 11 and I'm using the WSL too. So once you install the WSL, uh, it will install the Ubuntu by default and just open up the terminal. And uh, from here, you can choose uh, which terminal you want to use. So basically, you just need to use the Ubuntu. All right. So I'm going to use the Ubuntu and now we're just going to follow the instructions. Actually, first we need to clone this repository uh, to local. Uh, just copy the uh, link here. Just Click on code, copy the link, and after that, go back here. In here, type git clone and paste that URL here. All right, just hit enter. It will download some things and uh, it will be quick and easy. Now we need to go to the directory of this magiscon WSA. Okay, so we need to type here cd and space and type magiscon WSA local. Once you type this, hit enter. Now you can see you are on Magiscon WSA directory. And in here, we just need to run the command. Simple, easy peasy. This thing, script. We need to copy this script slash run dot sh. Paste it here and hit enter. If it asks for password, enter the password that you have set up for WSA or your uh, Ubuntu virtual machine or whatever you're using. So if you're doing this for the first time, it will actually download dependencies uh, for this to work. So it might take some time. This only happens when you're doing it for the first time. OK, once the dependencies is downloaded, uh, it will give you a option, something like this build arc. Uh, in here, you can choose uh, a architecture type, actually X. 64 or arm for most people it's going to be the x64 uh, unless you have arm you can choose arm so for me it's uh, x64 so i'm gonna select that uh, which will be default selected i'm gonna hit ok and here you can choose uh, the version of wsa the stable one release preview beta or dev for this example i'm just gonna leave it to uh, the retail okay and then hit gonna enter and stable again and in here it will ask you to choose uh, do you want to install the google play store g apps so this is the main thing which actually gives you the google play store in windows 11 wsa okay so hit yes hit enter do you want to keep the amazon store uh no because it's useless right now but if you want to you can keep it i'm gonna hit no and uh, do you want to install uh, Magisk? Uh, it depends. This will give you the root access uh, if you choose Magisk. If you choose none, it won't give you the root access. Uh, depends if you want it or no. So hit enter once you decide what you want. And after that, do you want to compress the output? Uh, hit yes, then it will give you the zip file. Uh, all the files will be compressed. If you hit no, uh, it will be a folder. So just hit yes okay and uh, that's all you need to do now it will download the files of wsa and uh, g apps and it will pack those together and then it will give you the uh, installation file it will take some time to download the files so sit back relax and uh, just enjoy the terminal show yeah <laughs> so actually uh, while it's downloading and compressing the thing uh, let me show you this i have this uh, 
done in a Ubuntu virtual machine. Yeah, uh, here I have the WS images with uh, Google Apps. So yeah, you can also do it on a virtual machine. You just need a Ubuntu, whether you use WSL or a virtual machine. So yeah. <laughs> okay, finally it's done. Uh, it will give you cleanup work directory done and which means everything is done now you can close the wsl window uh, you can go to your file explorer and uh, locate the linux okay in your file explorer just go to linux I, I have the ubuntu go into the ubuntu folder and after that go to home directory your username and then just go to magisk on wsa okay and in here you need to go to output okay and here we have that zip file now we can copy it or we can actually extract everything here and start installing so we're just going to copy it to let's say documents folder uh, we need to unzip it now we'll get the folder and just go inside the folder and in here you'll find this file install if you have the file extension turned on you'll see install.ps1 right click and click on run with powershell all right just like that if it gives you the error something like this don't worry there is another way to install this easy peasy don't worry but try this method first if it doesn't work then uh, try the second method that i'll show you now close the powershell okay and after that go to that github repository again and uh, in here you need to enter this command in the uh, uh, powershell so look for powershell and run this as administrator okay and in here we need to copy the directory of the wsa uh, downloaded file or unzipped file okay just copy it from the uh, address bar of file explorer just like that and in here type cd and paste it here and you can see we have this directory here for the wsa installer we're gonna hit enter now we are at this directory and uh, here we need to copy this input powershell.exe this one okay copy and paste it just like that and hit enter now it will say operation successfully and it will you know automatically install the wsa with google play store and whatnot and it will open the wsa automatically and hit up continue just like that and you can see the wsa is opening and you can close the uh, powershell window actually just like that you don't need that anymore because we have already successfully installed wsa and you can see google play store is here so basically the wsa is now installed let me actually sign in so i can show you guys that it works signed in into the google play store just like that now i can download the games or whatever i want in my windows 11 yes i have the google play store installed here yeah there we go our game is downloading and uh, that's all you need to do to install google play store on windows 11 that's it hope you enjoyed it guys and that we have our game downloaded we can play it yes of course <laughs> Uh, I'll do a separate video on uh, Android gaming experience on Windows 11. I'll test some games uh, and I'll share my experience, how it feels to play Android games on Windows 11. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. And one more thing, uh, if you guys want me to make a tutorial on how to install WSL or Ubuntu on Windows 11, just like I have right now, with WSL, you can use Linux plus Windows at the same time so it's a, it's a cool thing to have uh, if you're into linux but you want you don't want to leave uh, windows you just keep on to using the windows plus at the same time you want to use the linux it's a cool thing to have yeah trust me so if you want the video on this please do the comment i'll do it actually i will do it anyway because i haven't made a video on wsl <laughs> yeah it's so weird i should have made a video on wsl it's a cool thing all right so maybe i'll do some one or two videos on WSL2. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.